Hi guys, welcome back. And today in this video, I'm gonna quickly show you what is the recent new change happening with Playwright MCP server version 0.2.6. I mean, this is something which I feel even more exciting than what I have uh, created even more videos before in Excel Automation YouTube channel. Because right now with this new Playwright MCP server, I can see that a lot of people are downloading the tool uh, in their cloud desktop and they're using it for uh, UI automation as well as API testing. So if you remember uh, yesterday we were talking about this new uh, Playwright MCP server feature uh, which can help you do API testing as well as a part of it and this way it is going to reduce the number of time that you spend for testing the application uh, using Postman or any other uh, API testing tool. And today I'm even more excited because you know that any tool that you have should have a better documentation and that's the thing that lags in most of the uh, testing tools earlier but now in these new tools like playwriter cypress they have got a very good documentation i always wonder like how they always create this documentation because now there is a streamlined version of a documentation platform which is nothing but uh, like the github pages that you can host it and you can use their themes if you wanted to or you can also use a uh, docuno service or something like that which can also do it for you and the same thing i have did for our playwright mcp server as well so i just published like 13 minutes ago as you can see so this particular Playwright mcp server will also have got this uh, documentation site over here so if you just go to the github repository or maybe you can go in the uh, npm over here see that i have got this exitautomation.github.io so if i go and click that link there it's going to take you to the all new home page so this home page experience i'll get to you over there in a minute but if you just go to uh the uh to the home page of the repository uh, you'll also notice that we have got this link over here the exitautomation.com uh, uh, github.io mcp playwright you can go ahead and click that or maybe you can also click it from here. So I have removed all the clutters from the uh, from the readme page because it's it was very confusing with a lot of details there. But now I have moved it all in a single place, which is this documentation site. So if I go and click that one over there, you'll also notice that uh, we have got a nice homepage, uh, which has got all the details like how you can uh, use this Playwright MCP server, easy to use, test UI and APIs, and powered by Node.js. Uh, and also they have, I have also got the details of the tutorials and the videos over there and all those details. And if you go and click this Playwright MCP server tutorials just for five minutes, time that you can spend in here, this is the page which I'm talking about. Now we have got the details of how you can, uh, you can get to start working with the Playwright MCP server. So it gives the details of what Playwright MCP server is and how you can start doing the installation. Uh, and also there are some tips and then how you can use npm symmetry or mcp get and how you configure the playwright uh, mcp server in your cloud desktop uh, in this file and we also got the release notes so any time there is going to be a new release coming up you'll also have a track of what's really happening with every single version so i can uh, just add all the uh, all the new uh, release changes and also if there is any uh, supporter of this project you can also see there are supporters uh, details over there which is great i forgot to uh, add a couple of them just missed them i have to probably add it and also uh, you can see that we have got the local development here so this is the place where you can learn how you can clone the repository how can uh, you build the uh, playwright mcp server yourself and how you can start uh, adding more features to this repository. So that is what is this particular page is all about. So this is the place where you go power user, you start building things like how I do uh, in your machine, and then you can create a pull request, you can fork the repository, create a pull request, and also send it to me. I am gonna review the code and I'm gonna approve it. Not just me, the community of members are gonna do it for you. And that's about this page. And then there is this Playwright web feature uh, section, which is going to give you the details of uh, what are the uh, supporter tools that we have got for the uh, browser automation over here, as you can see, like Playwright screenshot, click, hover, fill, select, and evaluate. We still have a long way to go, but this is just the starting of this uh, tool. And I've also got the example of how you can, uh, can use it. And also I've got the Playwright API features uh, which is also uh, going to give the details like how you can work with different uh, 
API requests and responses. And also I've given the note, like still this is like a initial stage of this particular library. So if there is gonna be new feature gonna add it, so you will have to see these details in a watch out here, right? And there is this example over here, like how you can do things. So yeah, that's about it guys. That's the documentation uh, site, which I'm quite excited about. And anyone who is gonna get started with the paired MCP server and wondering like how to use it and how to build it and what are the things that it supports and what are the features you can expect later, those things are gonna be added in this documentation. So once again, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for all your support. And we are gonna be building this tool as much as possible. So please help me build this tool as well, which is gonna be a really, really helpful thing for me. Thank you so much for watching this video. Catch you in the next one.